What's up guys, it's Eterns. Today I'm going to be showing you what I think is currently the best play style that's out there for PUBG. And I'm going to try to back it up with some good reasoning. So this video is going to be about some mid to high level tactics. So if you're newer to the game, these might not be as easy to implement, but they're definitely still good to keep in mind as you're getting better at the game. And as a precursor to this, I'm ranked two to 3000 right now, and I peaked at 500 before school started. So I have a little bit of justification for what I'm talking about. But, okay, let's get straight to it. Have you ever seen that guy decked out in level 3 gear? He's got the helmet and vest, and he's shooting you with the 4X, clearly something with the scope, and, you know, he's suppressed, and you're thinking, how the hell is that guy so fucking lucky? Well, it's not luck. More than likely what was happening was he's been playing aggressive and getting kills, and off each person, he's probably been getting one or two of those items. For example, you know, when you go to loot Georgia Pole, say for example, and you find one of those items, well, each person you kill, if they have one of those items, it really begins to add up when you have six, seven, or eight of those kills. So what really gives you the edge over a defensive player is while they're sitting in a building waiting for the circle to close or, you know, lying in grass, not doing anything with their time, you're really looting, you know, one of those items each time you get a kill or at least, you know, kind of rolling the dice on one of those items. So how do you maximize your chances of getting a chicken dinner? Well, the first thing is by playing aggressive, you run towards combat. That means when you hear someone shooting, you don't walk around them and you don't run away you run towards them. Now I'm talking about somebody shooting at someone else, not at you. So why do we do this? It's common knowledge that you don't want to take a fight where you're at a disadvantage, right? I mean, we've all had it where you're running through a forest and all of a sudden some guy you didn't see just guns you down and that's it. Whether you're in solos or you're in duos and then you're knocked down, that's basically it. Well, you're on the other hand of that, if you think about it, when you're coming up on someone who's shooting at somebody else. They have no idea you're there, they're distracted, and more than likely, they're probably hurt. So you can come up to this person, you can shoot at them, and you can kill them. On top of that, one of those you're probably only facing one person because fights in PUBG don't last too long. And if it is two people, that's another fight you can take where you're at an advantage because they're also distracted and hurt, and they're less than likely going to be expecting a third person. So this isn't always a favorable situation because you could potentially be taking on two other teams or enemies here. But if played right, and that's the big thing, if played right, it is in your favor and you will increase your chances of getting a chicken dinner because now you have loot, you know, depending on if you're playing solos, for example, you have the loot of one to two people for free kills. Um, and you can carry that loot on now, you know, that's more chances for level three gear, suppressors, things like that. You can just carry that on to the next uh, fight and uh, that's more stuff you have now to bring into the final fight for your chicken dinner. So now that we've talked about how to pick, you know, fights that are in your favor a bit, let's talk about crates, because crates can be really tricky, even with aggressive players. Go for crates. That's, that's the simple answer, is go for crates. And the more you go for them, the better you'll get at handling, you know, having one to, say, five teams usually going after that crate. Now, in certain situations, you know, if you have a vehicle, you're under it, you can just grab the crate and go. You, you, you got the loot, uh, you got the gun if it's a good gun, and then you're out. But sometimes, you know, if there's already other people coming in at the same time as you, it's not good to get out of the car, try to get the loot and get out, because you're probably going to die. What... In certain situations, what might be best is to say, you know, get behind some cover, camp the crate, and then kill the people on it. Now, it doesn't, again, it's all very situational. Every crate's different, right? They don't always land in the same spot. But if you can play the crate right and get better and better at doing that, you know, walking out with a Groza or an AWM, an M24, for example, Every time you walk out with one of those guns, you're increasing your chances of getting more kills to win more fights, and you're greatly increasing your chances of winning the game as well. Okay, so let's talk about landing zones now. So, when new players start the game, oftentimes, you know, they're 
very scared to go at places, you know, like school, military base, anywhere that people are commonly going to go. You know, it's really hard to tell where people are. You could get in combat right away. It's a very, you know, scary situation. That's not how you want to play the game. Because, you know, a lot of times people are going to land at, you know, little very bad outposts say like you know one place i see tons of people land at right here this compound that's like you know kind of north of farm ridge southeast of pachinki here people love to go here and i don't understand why you walk out of here with like a crossbow and a shotgun maybe if you're lucky like an m16 if you're really lucky and then that's all you have now you have to walk all the way across to different buildings waste your time to get more equally shit loot while other people who are killing shit players are coming out with ars 4x's snipers you're gonna have no chance against them so even i what i always say is it's better to land somewhere you know say like george the school rajik and die than to go to like a shitty compound and get shit loot because as soon as you get into a fight with someone who did win that location you're, you're just gonna lose anyways what's the point you you it's really hard to win a fight against someone like that so as a good rule of thumb i'm gonna link this um map in the description it's really good it gets updated frequently and gets posted on reddit by shatter nl um i recommend going to places anything here that's in yellow or red go for it except for spawn island do not go to the spawn island it is a huge waste of your time it takes so long to get out there uh, it uses most of your boats gas circles don't usually end up in the northeast don't go to the spawn island but anyways go go to anywhere you know I, I say stay away from the northeast of the map for the most part. Like, don't go to fucking Stauber. Stauber is just a waste of your time, too, because look how far you are from going anywhere else. You can go to Kameshki, the new city. It's not that, you know, it's not that good. Safe zones most commonly end. We'll mark this in green here. Mo safe zones most commonly end right now between Georgia Pole, Gatka, in the military base this brush isn't thick enough but whatever you get the idea if you don't go somewhere but you know close enough to here you're gonna have a really rough time if you don't find a car so if you're gonna go somewhere like stalber you're away from roads you're away from other loot that's gonna be rough but you know Severny's okay there's lots of car spawns around Severny, milta lipovka milta power like anywhere else you know that's like any anywhere below this line really anywhere southwest of this line go for it Okay, well that's all for this video. If you liked it, give it a like. Uh, subscribe to me on YouTube if you want more. I'll be producing more of this content. And if you want to watch it live, I live stream on Twitch every week. Uh, give that a follow as well. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one.